Hey, this is just a quick video to show you something cool that I figured out how to do the other day. So I'm in my bedroom and I'm using just the Slate VSX to mix this project. And it's been great. Um, but if I want to sort of check translation in the real world on say uh, this Amazon Echo, normally I would have to uh, like do a rough master, export it and download it onto my phone with Dropbox or something like that and then cast it onto the phone, cast it in the car. Um, but what I figured out is that this is playing back at the minute on the headphones. You can probably hear. But if you've got Loopback 2 or possibly if you just create an aggregate device, I'll check, but I'm not sure if you can do it. Um, so the echo does show up, so technically it should work. But my solution is a bit simpler. What I'm doing is I'm using Loopback from Rogue Amoeba. And I just added in the Echo show onto the outputs for the monitors. So now the uh, headphone output on the arrow is going to the VSX. The main output is going to the Alexa, so if I turn it on, I want you to stay. it's not coming from the Echo. And I can hear in real time how it's translating in the room on a small speaker. If there's any tweaks that need done, which is super handy, and I can control that output from Cubius from the control room because it's just detecting it as the main output. So yeah, I mean it's like a really cool way of checking either your mixes, how they're translating, or your masters. Um, if you have Loopback 2, it's super easy. You just go to monitors, add a new device, and just select the Echo 8. You have to, I think, have it connected before you load up QBS or you'll, it can be a bit weird. Um, but yeah, I mean, it works great. And you can just disable it if you want. So yeah, um, another really cool cool thing there. Um, I'm guessing that I'll be able to do the same thing in the car. So if I just add my car stereo as a an output device, I can go into the car with the MacBook Air and test listen my uh, mixes and stuff directly, just with Bluetooth, which is sweet. So yeah, if you've got the back too, it's definitely worth doing. If you don't and you want to do it through sort of multi-output or aggregate devices it should be doable i haven't tried it because loopback just makes that like i don't have to so hopefully somebody found this helpful cheers